This is Isaiah chapter 32 and 17. And the work of righteousness shall be peace, and the effect of righteousness, quietness, and assurance forever. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakah Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation is to you, Akim, uh, pushing this word with truth and sincerity with charity. And this is how the, the throne shall be established, man. All right. All right. This is how the throne shall uh, be established through righteousness, man. Okay. Because as the scripture says, righteousness is immortal, man. You know, we say this all the time um, here at Great Millstone. Wickedness has an expiration date. Okay. And this is the time uh, 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 of wickedness, man. As the scripture says, wickedness has exceedingly uh, polluted the whole earth, man. And, the, and their uh, hurtful works are fulfilled, man. So we're in a time when uh, wickedness is taking uh, president, president Slocky. Presidents throughout the whole earth, man. All right. All right. All right. I'm actually going to go a little further down in this chapter. All right. Um, okay. I'm going to read that again. This is Isaiah 32 and 17. And the work of righteousness shall be peace, and the effect of righteousness, quietness, and assurance forever. And as the scripture says, the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. All right. Because without sin, as the scripture says, sin is the wages of death. The wages of death, uh, sin, slaki. The wages of death is sin. I mean, sin is the wages of, yeah, uh, slaki. Uh, death are the wages of sin, slaki. All right. So if you sin, you die. OK, but Yahweh Shemir is going to put a new heart in us. OK, and transform us to where we can't sin. Thus, the effect of righteousness, we can't die. We we're immortal, eternal. And my people shall dwell in a peaceable habitation and in sure dwellings. And right. We don't have sure dwellings now, man. You know. OK, we have no assurance of life uh, as the curses in uh, Deuteronomy 28 chapter uh, says, man, you have no assurance of life, man. All right. And in quiet and in quiet resting and in quiet resting places, when it shall hail coming down on the forest and the city shall be low in the low place. All right. Well, that was about it, but that's the effect of righteousness, man, is us being, um, matter of fact, uh, us bring, bringing, um, being brought, brought, brought to an everlasting kingdom, man, all right, a everlasting, um, uh, dominion, man, right, this is, uh, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 6. Um, right, this is Wisdom of Solomon uh, 6 uh, and 18. And love is the keeping of her laws, and the giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. <sighs> okay. So... We'll never be uh, corrupted in the kingdom because we're going to have the laws written in our inward parts. And in corruption maketh, and in corruption maketh us near unto Yahweh. And and, and we and not only near unto Yahweh, but like unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Okay. Therefore, the desire of wisdom it bringeth to a kingdom, right? And uh, uh, the fear of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is the beginning of wisdom all right all these things come hand in hand faith all right 
which is going to uh, cause you to walk in the laws of Yahweh Bashem Shai. On this side, to the best of our ability, but uh, uh, on the return of Yahweh Shai, the perfection. All right. If your delight then be in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. All right. Okay. So through this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, we're going to be brought to a kingdom and perfected and reign forevermore, man. Uh, uh, brought to a kingdom that shall never be destroyed, man. All right. Because there's not going to be no reason to destroy it. All right. You know, because the scripture says, how often is the candle of the wicked put out, man? All right. You know, uh, uh, says it in Job, no, it's not this of old since man was placed on the earth uh, that the triumphing of the wicked is short in the joy of the hypocrite. But for a moment, man. So the Lord destroys wickedness eventually, man. OK. And every case and scenario we see in these scriptures, that's what happens, man. All right. But through uh, uh, incorruption, man, we'll be able to be made uh, 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 perfect, man. Okay. We're going to be brought to uh, into a sure places, man. Matter of fact, let me get it. Uh. Particular scripture. All right. Mm -hmm. This is Isaiah 30 and uh, 15. For thus saith Yahweh Power, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest shall ye be saved, and in quietness and in confidence shall be your strength, and ye would not. All right. So when returning unto Yahweh by Shemiah Shah, will be brought into a rest, man. All right. But we uh, we forsaken our, our, our rest. We forsaken our habitation, man. We forsook righteousness. So Yahweh by Shemiah Shah uh, casted us out, man. All right. A lot of us were fugitives, man. You know, from righteousness, man, from from Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Jake wanted to do his own thing, man. All right. That's why the scripture says, Extol not thyself in thy own counsel, yes he be lest he be torn to pieces as a bull string alone. All right. You you're a sheep, man. And 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 uh without your shepherd, you're pretty much prey, man. You have no protection. But ye said, No, for we will flee upon horses. Therefore shall ye flee, and ye will ride upon and we will ride upon the swift. Therefore shall they that pursue you be swift, okay? So okay, you go you want you wanna uh flee from the ways of righteousness, you wanna run from Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. Well then those dogs that 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 you were being protected from now they're gonna have access to you man and they're gonna tear you into shreds man and that's what happened to us as a nation man all right we forsake it we forsook our habitation man all right but through a uh, 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 righteousness man we're gonna be brought into an everlasting kingdom man okay and it's gonna be a beautiful thing to see our people go from this low estate into righteousness to be in their right mind man all right you know uh let me get a, another scripture okay get a particular scripture all right this is zachariah 8 and um Three, thus saith Yahweh, I am returned unto Zion and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth, right? Because Yahweh Bashim Shah is not going to dwell uh, among us when there's wickedness found in us, man. You know? No, even those old heathen kings knew that when we were one with our power, 
we couldn't be defeated. You know, when we were doing what we were supposed to do, you couldn't do nothing to us, man, because we were being protected, man. In the mountain of Yahweh, power of hosts, the holy mountain, thus saith Yahweh, power of hosts, there shall yet old men and old women dwell in the streets of Jerusalem, and every man with his staff in his hand for very age. Right? So, you know, we're going to be brought into that land, man. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in in the streets thereof. Right, man. So there's not going to be nobody uh, 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 coming through to threaten us, man. All right. We're going to be set in sure places, man. Thus save you how a power of hosts. If, if, if it be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of this people in these days, should it also be marvelous in mine eyes, save the whole power of hosts. So it's going to be a marvelous, beautiful thing to see our people in their right mind and in and, and the kingdom, man. You know, knowing that nobody's going to be able to come against us anymore, man. Okay. Right, this is Job 5 and um, 23. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. And when the uh, scriptures describe the kingdom, it talks about how the uh, the uh, lamb will lay next to the lion. Um, uh, a child shall put his hand on a cockatrice den, which is a serpent. So children will be able to play with serpents and not even be hurt, man. You know, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna truly be that city of peace, man. Jerusalem, Jerusalem. All right, and thou shalt know that the ta thy tabernacle shall be in peace, and thou shalt visit thy habitation and shall not sin. All right. So we're not gonna be able to sin, and that's why we're gonna be uh, uh, established. All right. Forever, thou shalt know also that thy seed shall be great, and thy offspring as the grass of the earth. And the Lord is going to multiply us, whereas He at one time diminished us. He's going to multiply us. Thou shalt come to thy grave in the full age, like as a shock of corn cometh in his season. Lo, this have we have searched it, so it is. Hear it and know thou it for thy good. And what did he, what did the Most High say? Yahweh Bashem Yahshua. He said, "You know, I know my thoughts towards you, thoughts of peace and 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 not of evil, man, to give you an expected end, man." Okay. All right. So Yahweh Bashem Yahshua is going to uh, set us in a, a sure place, as the Scripture says, a kingdom that shall never be destroyed, man. All right. Our crowns will never be taken off our head. No, no man will ever sit in our throne, and and we'll never need to be uh, removed or replaced, man. So this is the effect of righteousness, man. Immortality, man. All right, as it says in John, as many as believed on Yahweh Shai, gave he uh, power to become the sons of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. So we're going to uh, uh, be satisfied when we arise with his likeness, man. We're going to be transformed, okay, and brought into an eternal kingdom. This is the effect of righteousness. So this is a little lesson I wanted to do. I hope it was edifying. Um, uh, all praises on the glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rekal Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Salutation to you, Aki, I'm pushing this word with truth, sincerity, with charity, presenting your body as a living sacrifice. Shalom and the Baba Baba.